The IPL has come to a grinding halt, but that's no reason why we can't have a bit of fun and pick the team of the tournament so far. I've got my 11 for you on Hogs Vlog. Now, I can only pick four overseas players, so my team of the tournament so far is as. Prickly Shaw to open the batting from the Delhi Capitals. Really impressed with the way that he's dominated the power play phase. He's got the highest strike rate, one of the best averages, and made a mountain of runs in this phase. Also, he had two man-of-the-match performances, and the reason why he's uh, had a big improvement is he's worked hard at his technique. He's got a straighter backswing, and it's been working to perfection. Now, Indian selectors out there, we all know that this kid is going to be a superstar. You can't leave him out of the Indian team much longer. He showed his improvement. Get him in there. Test team, one-day team, and T20 team. This kid's got it all. Now, coming in at number two is Shikha Darwin. Now, in the power play phase, he was a little bit slow with the strike rate, but what he did was anchor the innings for Delhi Capitals throughout the tournament, and when he got into those middle overs, he powered away and apped the ante, increasing that strike rate. He also had two man of the match performances, and you can't neglect that, so uh, both of those Delhi Capital opening batsmen are in my 11. Coming in at number three is Sanju Sampson. He made 100 in the first game, dropped off a little bit in the middle period, but started to find a little bit of touch in the back end. So he's in uh, at number three for me. Number four, well, it's Rishabh Pant. I need a keeper. I need a leader. Delhi Capitals finished on the top. I've been very impressed with the way that Rishabh Pant has captained. So I'm going to reward him for uh, his first eight games as captain in the IPL by making him captain of my team. But the other thing that I've been very impressed with him is that he's shown that he can change the gears with his batting uh, and bat to the situation. And I've just been very impressed with that, that he's controlled his emotions and batted to the situation uh, for the Delhi Capitals. So he's in out four. Number five, A.B. de Villiers from RCB. Yes, he can control those middle over periods, but when it comes to the back end, those last four overs, he just takes the game away. He is dynamite. Opposition teams don't know where to bowl to him. You can't leave AB de Villiers out of any 11. So AB's in at number five. Number six, he's an all-rounder from the Chennai Super Kings. He's one of the best fielders. You see him with brilliant runouts, sensational catches, but also very tidy with his left arm off spin and can uh, really create some big hitting opportunities out the back end, and that's Jadeja. Number seven, I've got another CSK uh, player here, Sam Curran. I th- I'm very impressed with the way that he opens the bowling. Very good economy, picks up wickets, uh, but also is very handy in those death overs as well and can bowl a few overs in that middle period as well just for a little bit of variety. But I'm also impressed with his batting, so he comes in at number seven. Number eight is Rashid Khan from the Sunrisers Hyderabad team. He controls those middle overs. He can also bowl a few overs in the, uh, in the power play phase, but he picks up wickets, keeps it tight, Opposition teams are always worried facing him and scared about taking him on. But not only that, he can uh, put some lofty blows in at the back end of the innings, so it gives me depth in my batting lineup in this 11. Coming in at number nine is Rahul Chaha from the Mumbai Indians. Been very impressed with the way that uh, his leg spin has progressed over the last couple of years, and the performances that he put on for Mumbai this year just makes me start to wonder whether the Indian selectors might think about playing him in front of Chahal uh, in the T2011 because he really outbowled Chahal in this particular tournament. So there's a bit of pressure on there in the leg spin depth of Indian cricket. Now, number 10. Well, Abish Khan, I'm really impressed with this bowler. Opposition batsman around the world at international level. Get your video and get a look at this kid because you're going to be facing him a lot. He's got aggression. He's got good control of line and length. He hasn't got a bad Yorker, but he's got a very, very mean bouncer as well. 
Uh, he's got all the goods to be an exceptional fast bowler for India down the track. And uh, just the way that he looked at Virat Kohli when he got him out uh, in that game against RCB just showed me that he's got that courage, he's got that guts, he's got the determination, and he's got no fear about who he's bowling to. So he's got all the, uh, all, all the attitude, all the aptitude of what it takes to be a fast bowler. Now, number 11... Can't leave this guy out of any team. It's Boomerer. Dominant in the uh, power play overs, but also your best best death bowler. You need someone who's economical, but also can pick up wickets in those phase. So Boomerer finishes off uh, my 11. Now, Kieran Pollard misses out. He had two man of the match performances. Um, so he was a bit unlucky. Moen Ali was unlucky. Rabada from uh, Delhi Capitals was unlucky. And KL Rahul from uh, Punjab Kings uh, misses out as well. He had some good performances, but I just felt he was a little too slow um, throughout the innings to put him in this 11. So I was pretty tough on that. Now, I know you guys are going to have different opinions, and this is what I love about the uh, uh, Hogs Vlogs followers, is that you want to put your little teams out there as well. So if you've got a different opinion, put it out there for me. I'd love to hear what you've got there, but uh, make sure you stay safe, look after your mates, look after your family, and I'll see you next week for another Hogs Vlog. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you later.